Hey, guys welcome back to the channel Canada Immigration. We will talk about Canada on track to welcome 460,000 immigrants in 2022. If you are interested in this topic please watch till the end of this video for the latest immigration updates and news. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Let's get into the video. News regarding immigration to Canada, in the first half of 2022, immigration rose to 231,625, this is a 59.8% increase over the same period the previous year. Even more, people have immigrated this year through the end of June than there were before the COVID-19 global epidemic began there were only 160,235 new permanent residents in Canada in the first half of 2019, the last full year before the epidemic. Therefore, compared to the same period last year, before COVID-19 struck and border closures and public health restrictions went into place, immigration to Canada in the first half of this year was up 45.5%. According to the most recent data from Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, the trend that began in the first half of this year might result in 463,250 new permanent residents coming to Canada this year if it continues throughout the rest of 2022. This would increase immigration to Canada for 2022 by more than 7.3% above Ottawa's ambitious immigration target for this year and by almost 14.1% over the 406,025 new permanent residents admitted last year. According to Ottawa's Immigration Levels Plan for 2022-2024, this year, 431,645 permanent residents will be accepted, followed by 447,055 in 2023, and 451,000 in 2024. Based on the current trend, the anticipated amount of immigration would easily surpass all of those progressively higher projections for those three years. Provincial governments and business leaders argue that more has to be done to encourage immigrants to come to Canada despite the country now experiencing immigration at a fast pace in order to fill jobs that are desperate for competent candidates to fill them. Provincial leaders have urged Ottawa to increase the provincial nominee programs PNP allocations during the past month so that businesses can recruit more immigrants. Ontario Immigration Minister Monte McNaughton tweeted that newcomers are important to filling in demand positions, strengthening our economy, and building a better Canada, we need more feet on the ground on our factory floors and construction sites. We are requesting a better deal from the federal government because of this in St. John, New Brunswick, late in July, the province with the largest population in Canada met with its colleagues from other provinces and territories to discuss the future of the nation's immigration system. Businesses are plagued by labor shortages even if the unemployment rate is at record low levels the reported unemployment rate in Canada, which fell to a record low of 4.9% for a second straight month, underscores how tight the labor market is there. Due to a lack of labor, corporate leaders are calling for increased immigration to fill vacant positions the Business Council of Canada emphasized the critical shortage of qualified employees to fill jobs in Canada in a report published in June titled Canada's Immigration Advantage, a survey of major employers. The business lobby group observed in that research that 80% of polled businesses are having problems hiring skilled labor every province and territory experiences shortages, although Ontario, Quebec, and British Columbia experience the most severe ones. Employers are having trouble filling technical positions the most frequently affected industries by a skills shortage are those that deal with engineering, computer science, and information technology additionally, it is difficult for employers to find trained tradespeople like plumbers, electricians, and construction laborers. The Business Council's president and CEO, Goldie Hyder, asserted that Canada's low unemployment rate and labor shortages are impeding the nation's economic recovery and escalating inflation however, the increase in the number of permanent residents coming to Canada is simply one aspect of the situation. The number of requests for temporary visas has also skyrocketed in the nation, including those for foreign students, temporary workers, and Ukrainians escaping their war-torn nation through the Canada-Ukraine Authorization for Emergency Travel, CUAET, which was introduced on March 17. 
In mid-July, IRCC officials disclosed that there were now more than 1.72 million applications pending for temporary visas, including about 904,000 for temporary resident visas at that point. IRCC staff members were having trouble sorting through a 2.62 million strong backlog of applications. However, provincial leaders maintain that even the current, record-breaking pace of immigration is insufficient to address the labor shortages in the nation. Jobs are being unfilled and paychecks are going unclaimed across Canada, Ottawa must allow provinces to choose more of the qualified immigrants their communities require, wrote McNaughton in a tweet. Canada must no longer be held back. Hopefully, the details and information presented in this video are helpful. So what is your opinion about today's information, definitely tell us by commenting. And on which topic we should make the next video, you must tell by commenting. We will try to reach you with the latest information related to Canadian immigration. If you have not subscribed, please like this video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon. See you sooner in the next new immigration video. Thank you.